Intrigued by the next frontier in fashion technology? From AI text to video to cutting edge AI discoveries, join us on this exciting journey as we bridge the gap between technology and style. Find out. Welcome to the 360 Fashion Podcast where you'll get the week's top 10 most important news items in the realm of fashion and technology. I'm your host Anina's AI, from 360 Fashion Network. I read hundreds of news items from fashion, augmented reality, virtual reality, wearables, robotics, textile innovation, and futurism every day. I choose the most critical items to summarize for you saving you time so you can focus on your business. Listen and subscribe to receive this roundup regularly. Now let's jump right into it. First Mango enters the gaming platform Roblox. The retailer has launched the virtual store on Roblox's Outfit Shopping Mall, a digital meeting point for the platform's users, where they can try on and purchase digital products. Featuring a Mediterranean aesthetic, in line with the design concept in its physical stores, the virtual space will stock Mango Teen products and offer Roblox users a space for interaction. Customers will have access to virtual Mango collections that can be found in the company's physical stores, as well as exclusive designs for the metaverse during special events on the platform. It comes after Mango took its first steps into the metaverse with the launch of three NFT artworks and three digital wearables in March 2022. Jordi Alex, Director of Technology, Data, Privacy and Security at Mango, said, As a global company, we want to respond to the needs of our customers in any moment, location or format. The arrival of Mango at Roblox represents a milestone because it will allow us to bring to this platform our passion for fashion, while strengthening our ecosystem of channels, by offering our customers differentiated products, services and experiences. News source, Draper Online, Tiffany Company opens official e-flagship store in China. Tiffany Company has announced the opening of its official e-flagship store on Tmall Luxury Pavilion. This marks a significant milestone in the LVMH-owned luxury houses online retail strategy in China. The virtual debut boosts its extensive network of 41 brick-and-mortar Tiffany boutiques throughout China including seven in Shanghai. The move makes jewelry pieces and signature designs from iconic collections including Tiffany T, Tiffany Knot, Tiffany Keys and the Love Engagement collection available online. To mark the launch, the store hosted the online debut of a limited-edition Tiffany Key design. The woven key mini pendant crafted in 18K rose gold draws inspiration from archival Tiffany rope motifs and is adorned with pink sapphires, symbolizing New Year wishes. The store also offered exclusive perks to Tmall Luxury Pavilion's millions of users. News source, Darwin Sites Fashion Forward, unleashing the synergy of style and smarts in the evolution of wearable tech. The journey of wearable technology in the fashion world has been transformative, evolving from rudimentary, function-driven devices to sophisticated fashion statements. Initially, wearable tech was predominantly focused on utility, often at the expense of aesthetic appeal. Early examples include basic fitness trackers and medical devices, designed with a singular focus on functionality. However, as technology advanced, so did the potential for integrating these devices into the everyday fashion landscape. Designers and technologists began to see the untapped potential of wearables as not just tools but as accessories that could complement personal style. This shift marked a significant turning point, leading to the development of wearables that seamlessly blend form and function, such as smartwatches that resemble traditional timepieces and fitness bands that double as chic bracelets. The integration of wearable technology into fashion has been propelled by rapid advancements in technology. Miniaturization of components, improvements in battery life, and the advent of flexible, durable materials have allowed for more elegant and versatile designs. These technological strides have enabled designers to experiment with form without compromising on function, leading to wearables that are both stylish and practical. Today's wearables are not just gadgets they are fashion accessories that make a statement. From luxury smartwatches that cater to the high-end market to customizable fitness trackers that appeal to a broader audience, wearable technology has established itself as a dynamic and integral part of the fashion industry. This evolution reflects a growing trend where technology is not just used but worn, becoming an extension of personal style and expression. News source, Medium, Samsung Galaxy Ring, Key Details and 2024 Launch Date the Samsung Galaxy Ring is finally official and a 2024 release date now looks nailed on. Smart rings are having a big moment in wearables, with multiple companies chasing Aura Ring 3, the smart ring incumbent, which has cornered the market with a strong suite of health features. In the last year we've seen the Ultra Human Ring Air, Circular Ring Slim and Movano EV Ring all enter the fray, and CES 2024 was packed with smart rings all entering the market. Smart rings are attractive because they're in theory less noticeable than a hulking great smartwatch. 
they also enable you to keep wrist space free for nice watches or jewelry, and as they don't have a screen, you're not pestered with notifications. What's more, sensor accuracy at the finger can be better than at the wrist. We've seen multiple patents for the smart ring over the past year, and Samsung has also officially named the device to regulators. So it really seems more of when than if at this stage. News source, wearable metaverse fashion, dressing the digital world. Build as the next iteration of our online world, the metaverse is a concept describing the 3D virtual spaces that will eventually and are already beginning to come together to form an online universe, where the lines between digital and physical are blurred. While many envision the metaverse as something akin to Ready Player One's Oasis, a fictional virtual reality world thought up by author Ernest Cline, we are already beginning to see metaverse-like elements emerge through video games, augmented reality, and virtual stores. With digital giants such as Epic Games and Facebook focused on advancing the concept, the metaverse is only set to grow and fashion has a huge role to play. The metaverse is often used to refer to the variety of experiences, environments, and assets that have emerged from the online world over the past few years, which have provided us with a glimpse of where the internet could be heading. Fortnite, once a simple survival game, has transformed into a metaverse-like environment. In recent years, users have watched movie scene premieres at its outdoor movie theater or watched global artists live in the digital world. News source, 3 Look, Bridging the Digital Divide, Why 2024 is the Year of Digital Fashion. Digital fashion is all very well and good but opportunities to flex are limited. Fact. While digital purists often balk at the term fidgetal, this is where things get interesting and 2024 is already shaping up to be the year of fidgetal fashion where brands are realizing the business impact of bridging the digital divide. Psyche hires Nicola for My Kitty Psyche, the luxury fashion platform founded by Ralph Lauren and Burberry alum Alice Delahant, has announced Nicola for My Kitty as its artistic director. For My Kitty, whose 25 year career spans stints as creative director at Moogler and Diesel, Alongside notable collaborations with brands such as Uniqlo, Mac, and Alexander McQueen also spent a decade as design director for Lady Gaga. With Psyche, Della Hunt has made it her mission to create a bridge between digital and physical fashion, something, she says for my Cuddy inherently understands, noting that he has been ahead of the curve his entire career and adding that he has an intuitive understanding of what will come to define fashion, and his work builds toward that future. For his part, for my kitty believes that fashion embraces both physical and digital. He said in a statement that he has always been captivated by the potential of the digital space and is now eager to embrace it fully, creating possibilities that resonate with today's world. He will support the platform, identifying and nurturing new synergies between established luxury brands and next generation digital and physical designers. News source, Forbes Ifco, 2024 aims to share digital, ethical insights with fashion buyers. IFCO, which is taking place at the Istanbul Expo Center, anticipates over 30,000 visitors with high-caliber visitors from the U.S. and the U.K. having already confirmed their participation. The event is set to include a comprehensive seminar and workshop program featuring industry leaders from WGSN and Academia della Moda. Attendees can expect insights on the advantages of fashion's digital transformation, why less fast fashion and more ethical fashion is the way forward and 2025 trend forecasts. For the first time, IFCO has also announced collaborations with eight institutes from the Universities of Fine Arts to present creative projects by young talents at Mimar Shinan University, Marmara University, Top Copy University, Yeti Tep University, amongst others. IFCO will showcase an extensive range of product groups across eight halls, including women's wear, men's wear, baby, kids' wear, denim, active wear, underwear hosiery, occasion wear, bridal wear, leather and fur, and shoes. As the third largest supplier of clothing and textiles to the EU, IFCO explained the show gives Turkey the opportunity to share its so-called clear competitive advantages with visitors such as short delivery times, high production quality, customization, and a high level of quality. News source, Just Style, here are the week's top news. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.